Hello, my name is Drew Bailey, and the town that I'm going to be selling to you today is the Island Paradise of Willow Springs, where everyone is living with a hint of magic. So, Willow Springs was founded around the year of 1819 by a slave owner named Basco and Wade. Um, it's not actually part of any one state, uh, but it's actually on the border of South Carolina and Georgia. And Basco and Wade um, had a slave named Sapira Wade, who um, whose importance will be explained later in the PowerPoint. And she eventually persuaded Basco and Wade to will all of the land in Willow Springs to all of his slaves. And this is proved by the quote by Gloria Naylor. Um, in 1823, um, she persuaded Basco and Wade in a thousand days to deed all his slaves every inch of land in Willow Springs. And the climate of Willow Springs is a tropical climate with a strong cooling breeze. And it sh it's surrounded by the ocean. Um, seeing as it's an island, and so it has that ocean breeze all year round that keeps it cool, but also has the heat of South Carolina and Georgia. Um, it's why it's places like Charleston, South Carolina are such a popular retirement destination because of the perfect weather around there. Um, so there's a few key locations within Willow Springs. Um, there is Chevy pa Chevy's Pass, the other place, and the Three Woods. And all of these places have a lot of spiritual meaning. Um, the woods and nature are seen a lot in their religious beliefs. And then we have Main Street as well. And this is a lot of where the um, jobs are held. And yeah. And so we get back to the principles of Willow Springs. Um, like I said before, they have a heavy focus on nature and spiritualism. However, they are loosely based off of Christianity but they are heavily focused on that nature and the magic aspects of their lives. Um, there's also another principle, which is to be faithful to your partner. And that is very important to those in Willow Springs. There's a lot of jealousy if that ever doesn't happen. And so um, this belief in the spiritual and Christian values is proved by the quote, Pearl says, if something that's that big is headed in this way, her God will protect her. Um, so there's a few prominent families and um, leaders in Willow Springs, and that includes the Wade family. Um, that is what Sapphira and Bascom were stemmed off of. And the Wade family eventually became the Day family, who um, Abigail and Mama Day are all descended from. And then we have the Duval family, which um, the Duvals perfectly demonstrates the um, faith to your partner that is mentioned on the previous slide. Um, and then there's just a few extra characters, which is Dr. Buzzard, George, Andrews, and Ruby. Um, Dr. Buzzard was one of the main characters within Willow Springs. He owned a distillery. Um, George Andrews was the husband of Coco, and he ended up dying due to the um, heart defect and the stress um, towards the end of the novel. And also there's Ruby. Um, who is also one of the powerful women. Um, she is seen as mystical and powerful. And yeah. So then there's the gender roles of Willow Springs. Um, um, it's a perfect place for women to live because of the empowerment that is seen. Um, all women are seen as powerful or mystical or something to that effect. And being in a relationship, yeah, contrary to some places, um, men and women are equal in that relationship rather than having a disparity towards the men. Um, and this power that women have is shown by the quote, she brings that cane shoulder level and slams it into the left side of the house. The wood on wood sounds like thunder. The silvery powder is thrown into the bushes. And this quote shows the power of Mama Day and what she can do and it's in a magical ritual that she's doing. Um, and then we come to the jobs that are available. Um, as stated in a previous slide, um, there is a general store along Main Street and a salon, and Main Street is where you can find your more commonplace jobs that you'd see in any old town. But um, there's also a large amount of agriculture available and building projects. And if none of these opportunities end up suiting you, then there are large cities just across the bridge that you can commute to easily, like Savannah, Georgia is very near. Um, so the role of class and race plays a large factor into Willow Springs. It's predominantly African American there. However, it does not discriminate and all are welcome there. Um, the community is a very welcoming and accepting community, so any person who wants to live there can. 
and class doesn't play a huge role in Willow Springs because of the fact that it is basically one singular class throughout the island, and so you don't really have to worry about the disparity between rich and poor on that island. And then these are all the resources I use, and that is about it. Um, Dr. M, awesome semester, thank you so much, and I can't wait for the next class we take together.